Hello everyone and welcome back. In our last lesson we discussed and saw how we can install our project safely using cloud storage websites. This time around let's look at where we can get game assets. A game asset is a game object. It could be your characters like we have in this example. So we can have a player character. We could have things like a signpost. We could have things like our UI elements the text for the game, some other elements like the uh, particle system or effects, all these icons, the backgrounds, this B enemy, our stages, these are all our carrots, the ladder, these are all examples of game assets. And we also have a nice chest right here, these icons, these are all game assets. So the issue is where do we get these game assets? Well, you can actually get it in three ways. You can create your own assets. You can buy assets from the GDevelop asset store or any other external asset store, or you could use the default assets that have been provided by GDevelop. So let's go ahead and see that. If I scroll down here, this is actually an example project. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll just scroll down here and go to add a new object. If I do this, we can actually see we can add objects right here. So we can uh, decide to add this here and add its own behaviors, but it's the default uh, way or system to add an object. If we click on add a sprite, we can actually choose this from a file or choose it from the asset store. So let's go ahead and click choose from the asset store. You need to have your internet uh, connection right here. And then once you have this, you can search by a category or you could just browse and select any of these assets. So let's say we're interested in this one. We can click on this and this is going to add this as a sprite. A sprite is a memory efficient image that is designed to load fast into a program. It could be on any program, not just GDevelop. Now technologies these days have improved how images are being rendered on the screen but the name sprite was still held and kept traditionally. So that's what a sprite is. We could call this sprite our player. We can rename it from here. And okay, it says another object already exists. So it has a namespace conflict. So I'll just use this one with a caps and call this player and then click apply. So now that we have this game object here called player, I could just drag our player and keep our player right here which is quite large so what i would like to do is to open up the properties panel for this guy right here so if you click on that we can actually reduce or squish the size of this asset into any uh, size that we want we can even make it a square pixels and say a 64 by 64 and it's going to appear super squishy so these are ways we can actually get assets using the gdevelop store remember you can just go to click on add a new object and you can click on sprite you can click on add animation to add that sprite and then you can click down here and say choose from the asset store and you can just click on any of these characters you can see retro and you can search by category like so but i'll show you another place you can get very good assets for free but you need to credit the user. So I'll do that in the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching.